clearly, first of all, we all deserve like Academy Awards for our acting. You guys did, except for Chad, he wasn't even acting. Was that was the good stuff. It. Uh, so that was all natural, right there. Yeah. So for anyone that just joined us, what just happened was. Uh, we got Chad all dabbed up uh, about an hour or so ago, a little more now probably, and then Allie, the savior from Mary's Medicinals, the came into the picture and had her relief product that they offer, which is meant to calm you down if you get a little bit too high. Uh, you get you start getting a little paranoid feeling. It will bring you back into reality, and so we mixed it up for Chad. He slammed it, and look at him now. What's up, y'all? Happy to be high. Happy to be here. How y'all doing? Glad that Allie came by. Um, for for sure, course. without a doubt. Uh, very cool move of having the rescue. I had like intentionally not tried to smoke too much so that like recently, I have so much usually do, especially with pain and stuff like that. I like to have it during the day, especially on the days off where you can go out and enjoy, but I've, I've kind of been in the industry long enough where I try to find the good times to have it. Yeah. So yeah. taking a good, massive, like, dab. So honestly, I've only taken so many dabs. So I definitely... How many, how many is so many? Um, I'd say... Like, could you count them on one hand? I could, actually. It's kind of one of those... I have a friend that I work with that was quoted in the Rolling Stone as saying... Um, it's kind of like having the dessert, whereas sometimes when you have friends over, you have steak, but you always savor the dessert for the right times, you know? I have no idea what you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, what are you talking uh, about? Stoners know about it. It's like those prime bowls, dude, the prime times, dude, when it's the right time to just go there. And I, have, I would right. say that taking this dab was a good time to do it, so it sent me pretty far. So you s- far. Yes, okay, so what you're saying is that you dab – in appropriate situations, but you're not an all-day dabber. That's right. There's a lot of people that do. I know, and you can usually point those people out in a crowd. Yeah, I you definitely like. can. There's Everybody knows their limit. You know what I mean? I think that, uh, you know, I'm sure that you see people in all stages of being high. Sure. And, you know, a lot of people here in Colorado know their limits, but a lot of people coming in to visit who are recreational customers don't know their limits. Yeah. Right. So that kind of brought us to create a product like the Rescue mm-hmm. um, as a safety, as a backup um, for folks that maybe get too overly high, um, folks that also require a higher dose of THC but don't necessarily want to be so high all day. Yeah, um, totally. So the Rescue is a great flavorful option to be able to have in case that happens. So I, I was just thinking of a couple of weekends ago, I was up in Glenwood Springs and I was talking to a cab driver who does a lot of runs from the airport in uh, Vail and the airport in Aspen. So she picks up a lot of pretty well-off tourists. And the first thing they ask her for, she says, is to go to the pot store. That's like exactly where they want to go. And these are the people that you're talking about that like probably do not know their limit. They're at a ver- they're at eight thousand nine thousand feet. You know they're gonna get super baked, and you know like there's got to be a way to reach them. And and I yes. think this relief product is is that they 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 can keep their shit together for the day for whatever event they're in the mountains for and not be wrecked. Absolutely, you know? and we did just find out that you can also use the rescue on your pets as well. So I've definitely run into a few friends where their dogs or cats have gotten into the edible stash before. Right. Uh, it's not pretty, so yeah. you can right. also mix up the rescue for your furry friends, and it'll uh, work the same way. Know. So good just know. a good thing to have on hand uh, in your medicine cabinet, know. just like any other type of thing. Well, and I know that Mary's has been talking about having that pet line. We've talked about that. We yeah. had yeah. Pierre. Yeah. How's your little puppy doing? Pierre is great. He's four months old, eight pounds. Um, he is fantastic. Thank you. Yeah, Very so cool. la- last time Allie was here, Pierre was with her, and we did a demonstration of uh, the pet line. Yes, our uh, CBD gel pen for pets yes. uh, that works just like it does for humans. So for seizures, pain, arthritis, anxiety, uh, it's been doing really well in the market. So Very awesome. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a really exciting product, actually. I saw how cool it was because Pierre had some adorable ears. I actually just got one myself that has some other d- adorable ears, but Pierre Pierre knocks it out the park, <laughs> right? He's an adorable little dog. Thank and you. And it works perfectly in their ears, which was really cool. Yes, yeah, his ears so. stick up, so it's pretty easy to use the rescue on him. For sure. Uh, but I've been meeting with vets all over the state, and uh, they're pretty interested in it. So. Yeah. 
uh, we're excited to be able to get it all over the place. Cool. You, you know, one of the other products that I think I think everybody needs to check out at least is the is the Mary's Muscle Freeze. Sure, dude. Uh, so you guys know that I broke my foot recently, right? And I put yeah. it on in the morning, and then I'd wrap an ace on it, and it would last me like seven to eight hours. I mean, I kept it wet. You know That's what I right. mean? That's right. Yeah, you. I think you showed it to me one yeah, time. Yeah. Actually, yeah. the setup that you had. I had a good one. Yeah, you know? it was good, man. So, it was, it was, and it was, it was awesome. It was awesome. I yeah. Could, I could move more than I probably should have at work. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah we've been getting a ton of really good feedback with the muscle freeze. Um, it's really nice. It's kind of like that biofreeze like product, but it actually has CBD in it. So it's really going to be working to reduce inflammation, reduce pain, increase mobility, um, yeah. and you know promote healing. Yeah, um, it and was now awesome. a study just came out from Israel that they have found CBD to uh, promote bone growth as well. So right, right. I was talking about that last healing. week. That's yep. right. You are. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And so our CBD, because it's transdermal, it's actually getting to the muscles and the joints and the tissues. Um, so it'll be really getting the medicine where it needs to go. Seven cool. to ten dermal layers deep. Yep. So, so Chad, right. how are you feeling, man? I Th feel awesome, dude. Actually, like I, so I dabbed, which was, and I took a big one, so I went pretty far. But then I had this rescue, and I'm chilling, dude. How are you? Ha <laughs> ha. Good. That's what I think. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't drive and shit. I'd chill. You right. Know, I'm we promote stoned. safe cannabis use. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. Good. So, Gotta be safe with it all. Be <laughs> um, about it, of course. Absolutely. Um, responsible stoners. Damn it. Allie, you're doing on sites the next two days. Uh, Colorado Harvest Company and yes. Evergreen are our sponsors. Yes. Um, what, what are you going to be showing these people? Yeah, so tomorrow at Colorado Harvest Company, I'm going to be just giving them a whole rundown of the Mary's Medicinals and Nutritionals and Pets line. Uh, we are all about education. So for us, making sure that not only staff, but consumers are educated about the products um, is of utmost importance to us. Absolutely. And then on Friday, I'm going to be doing a fun patient event at Evergreen. Evergreen Apothecary from two to five. Yeah, I'll uh, have a little table set up with all that's kinds the one of that's goodies. Open to the public. I'm gonna yes. come. I'm gonna come. Yes, for sure. Yeah. You should. That'll that's be open, the one to, that's the public. open to the public. Um, right. And I'll be available to answer any questions you have about the line, make product recommendations, um, and just be there having fun with the bud tenders. Right Looking on. forward to it. Yeah. So when you are cool. when you're teaching when you're educating bud tenders or the general public. Uh, I mean, what, what are some of the biggest challenges, you think, in, in getting the message across? I mean, you are, from everything I've, I've gathered from you, this is, I think, the second time I've met you now. You're a pretty captive person. Um, well, thank you. Of course. Uh, and, but but Allie, what, uh, what do you think people struggle to grasp the most? I think in this society, especially in Colorado, um, our, it is very heavily focused on dabbing on these very high potency products. Um, and I think people see Mary's products and the lower dosing, um, and it's a little bit hard for them to understand how a 10 milligram patch can affect somebody like an 80 milligram edible. Yeah. I think that typically is the hardest uh, component to get around. We have made some pretty amazing documents and bud tender training guides that do explain it, but that does seem to be the biggest challenge, yeah. and it's just biology, and that's really all it comes down to. Um, it really is. There's a lot of different phases that, like, you can get when it comes to medicine. You're either, like, not feeling it because you have some pain, which sometimes you get a little stoned, or else you're enjoying it and kind of chilling, or else you're up and doing shit. And Mary's, there's always, like, different stages of how stoned you can get and i think an experienced stoner knows that and mary's always kind of helps you for either the good shit which is taking the pain away or like getting you to the right place right you know what i mean taking care of this and that or putting you to the level that you're comfortable at absolutely i, I agree one way or another you know so what else do we need to know about mary's i know uh if, if we have anything to say about it we're going to have you back real soon but what else do we need to know in the interim yeah, so Mary's Nutritionals is up and running still. Um, we will have our full CBD patches for nutritionals available in the next couple of weeks. Um, so and those are available to anybody in the United States um, okay. and soon to be any other country that allows hemp products as well. Um, so that'll be really exciting. And you can order those online? Is that something you can do online? That's correct. Marysnutritionals.com. There's no age restriction. Um, and any form of payment is accepted. So it's very, very easy. You can buy awesome. the Muscle Freeze, which Chad 
dad really likes, you can buy the rescue um, and all of our other really amazing CBD products. Right. Um, Mary's Medicinals, our marijuana line, we've now expanded into six states. Um, so that's pretty exciting. So friends in Washington, California, Oregon, and Arizona, um, they are all able to have Mary's Medicinals products there now. So that's really exciting. That's awesome. Um, and our goal yeah. is to get into four more states by the end of this year. So we'll keep you posted on how that's going. All right. Well, we'll look forward to learning more. Oh, yeah. Allie, thanks so much for coming. Thanks, Always a guys. pleasure. Absolutely. We'll see you soon. Always good to see you, Allie. You too. Hell thanks, yeah. Tell guys. Graham what's up. Tell Charlie what's up. I will. Tell Nicole what's up. All okay. right. We will be back here just a few minutes with a call from King Shifter. We're rocking Herman's Hideaway with a memory down and acidic tomorrow night. Tomorrow. Stick around. There's a hashtag. There's a hashtag. Hashtag.